Okay, today we're going to actually talk about uh, how to mail anything, um, any types of attachments um, using Unity 3D and the iOS SDK plugin from U3DXT. So um, in the high-level API, we allow you to uh, mail things using uh, images. So we can, there's really easy to kind of attach um, images to, uh, uh, to the mail. But today we're actually going to talk about what if we want to mail zip files, um, textures, uh, whatever it is. Um, that we want to send over using the default mail app inside of iOS. Um, and to do that, we actually need to look at uh, the MF Mail Compose View Controller class and access that from JavaScript or C Sharp. Um, in this class, we are able to attach arbitrary data, uh, and this is NS data. And we'll talk about how to do this inside of Unity. So let's get started. I already kind of created an empty uh, scene here, but let's create a JavaScript, or actually a C Sharp file. I'll just name it you Now Anything. And let's open it up in model develop and start coding away. And we don't need the update. So what we'll do here is um, we'll just make it so that when the application launches, it'll automatically uh, just fill in the um, the mail uh, recipient's message, subject, and attachments, and it'll just launch the view controller automatically. Um, one of the first things that we need to do is import, of course, the U3DXT uh, frameworks. So the framework that we're going to use here is the message UI framework as well as um, the UI kit framework and then also some foundation classes for uh, the ability to create NS data. Um, we're also going to maybe just generate our binary data. Uh, we could of course um, have any binary data uh, that we want um, could be a zip file but um, for now I'm just going to generate it. Um, so, uh, I'll just say here, create some arbitrary binary data. Um, and of course, you can um, load uh, from an existing location um, either in persistent data or streaming assets. But for here, um, we're just going to create a file stream. We'll just name it some file, new file stream. Um, we're probably just going to store it in the temporary cache folder. And uh, just name it, I don't know, some file. And since this is a file that we're just going to be creating, let's just create it. Um, now let's say, let's write some data to it. Um, we'll just write a byte. Uh, and close it. That's what our uh, binary file will be. And we're going to use this file to attach to the mail. Now, in order to uh, mail some stuff, I mentioned we're going to actually need to use the MF Mail Controller, or Mail Compose View Controller. Um, as I mentioned before, in our social APIs, uh, social XT, there's actually a mail function that allows you to input a texture image. But we're not doing texture image, so we can't really use this high-level API. We'll need to go back and use um, something more low-level, low I mean. So this is what we're going to use. And um, we'll have to manually set a lot of the features, but it's not that difficult, really. Um, so let's go back and do this. Um, let's declare uh, the mail controller as a private variable, um, just so that uh, it doesn't delete it on us uh, with the garbage collector. Um, I just call it mail controller. And now, um, I guess the first thing we need to do, of course, is to create and instantiate it. And then, um, We'll need to maybe set some recipients. Uh, who's going to take our mail here? Um, and this takes in a um, object of recipients, but it really uh, we can just create a new string uh, of people who want to send it to. So um, nowhere at u3dxt.com is where I'm going to send mine. And what else? Let's see. Probably want to set subject. Uh, probably want to set, uh, I don't know, let's see, the body, message body, um, just testing attachments. And when you're setting the message body, we can also specify if it's like XML or not. And in this particular case, it's not, so we can set that to false. Attach events. Okay. Um, well, finally, let's uh, see how we create. Uh, the attachment. So when we look at the add attachment function, um, it takes in an NS data. 
It's also as for a MIME type and also a file name. Uh, well, let's take a look at NS data first. NS data takes in a pass, um, and this pass is actually a file pass. Um, so we can just probably use the file pass that we created earlier um, in the temporary catch. Uh, some file that bin. And then uh, the next argument was the MIME type. Now, we didn't really specify uh, what type of file this is, this is probably a really arbitrary type of binary file. So um, we'll just use the default octet stream. Now if you have a zip file and you want to be able to handle that, um, you may also want to use, of course, the application slash zip. But um, uh, this is arbitrary, so we can just use uh, the default MIME type here. So here we specify the file name that we want to show up inside of uh, the mail controller. Uh, I'm just going to name it the same. So file. And that's all there is to it. Um, oh, right. We also need to make sure that we can show the mail controller. Um, so let's get uh, the root view controller from um, the root controller, and then let's present the view controller. So this is pretty much very kind of low-level iOS programming, but um, if you want to show any view controllers, this is pretty much what you need to do. And we're just going to have the review controller show it. Um, and we want to show the mail controller that we created. Uh, this flag here is whether or not we want it to be animated. And um, this block for the action is uh, what it do when it's um, finished animating and shown up. I'm actually not going to care, so we're just going to set that to null. Um, now that we've shown it, uh, there's one last thing that we need to do, and that is um, we need to be able to handle the event of uh, what happens when the user finishes sending the email or closes or cancels. Um, and to do so, we need to handle it via a delegate. Uh, so mail controller, this is the mail compose delegate. And it's a MF mail compose view delegate, view controller delegate. We need to create a class to be able to handle this. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, well, actually, we'll, we'll handle it um, in a custom way. So let's just create an internal class here, and let's call it my mail, my mf mail compose view controller delegate, and it will extend the uh, mf mail compose view delegate class. Um, give it a default constructor. I'm not going to do anything here, um, but we, what we need to do is we need to actually override uh, the did finish um, delegate method. So if we take a look here, um, this is the diff finish and it, it passes in the controller view controller um, the composed results and as well as the error. Um, and you can kind of take a look at what the value of the composed results are. So we can handle canceled, save, fail, or sent. So these are the messages that um, uh, we can get from the iOS uh, when the user interacts with uh, the mail composer. Uh, so here We'll need to extend it the same way. Um, what was it? MF mail uh, compose view controller is the first one. Um, and then the MF mail result and the error. Um, well, we don't really care about the results right now. Um, whatever, whatever they use is fine. So we're not going to check the result. I'm just going to actually dismiss uh, the view controller regardless of uh, if they sent it or um, saved it or whatever. So uh, let's just do that. Dismiss the view controller. Um, animated. Okay. Um, oh, right. Can't have this simple here. So that looks good, except, of course, it's not. Um, we need to fix this here. So let's create uh, my call this the delegate class. And uh, again, I'm creating this as a member variable. You can also create this as a singleton um, to kind of make sure that um, after start is called, um, you won't get garbage collected. So let's create a new delegate. And uh, what's going on here? So we actually need to put a thing here. 
and uh, let's see. Okay, um, that should do it. Now the file stream. Oh, right. This should be a file mode. Okay, great. Okay, um, that's the app. Looks like we're clean. Oh. Right here, we actually need to um, do this. Assign it to our member variable so it doesn't get deleted. So let's go ahead and do that. So just to kind of give you an overview again, um, we created the mail composer. This is what's going to be used to send our mail. Uh, this is the delegate, which is going to handle the diff finish event. Um, and we can figure out what uh, the finish thing is based on the result that's passed in. Uh, but when it finishes, it's just going to dismiss. Um, and then here we have the file that we created. It's just some arbitrary file that we wrote to the temporary cache. Uh, we created the mail controller. Uh, we created a delegate to handle it, assign it to the mail compose delegate. And in the mail controller, uh, we set the recipients, um, which accepts a array of strings of email addresses. We set this uh, email subject. Uh, we set the message body, but this is where we um, add the attachment. And we can uh, attach multiple attachment data. But right here, we're just going to attach one file. We specify NS data with the path to the file location that we saved or wrote earlier. Um, we set the MIME type, and then uh, we set the file name that's going to show up inside of the application. So let's uh, compile this and see what we get. Let's switch back to Unity. Uh, let's just drag this um, script that we wrote to the main uh, camera here and build. Make sure, of course, this is there. Um, and it builds. Okay, so the application launched. Um, this is the Unity screen. And let's cancel this better message. Um, so this actually works with the uh, package that's currently in the asset store. Um, as we can see here, this is the mail view controller. Um, we see the uh, oops, we see the bin file that's been attached and everything that we set here. Um, and uh, we can just send this away. Click on send and it's off. Uh, that's all there is to it.